This is it. After this study, we will have worked our way through seven themes that hopefully have helped you think about persevering in your life and persisting in the faith. This series has been a blessing to me and helped structure my thinking and growing in my own faith life. And I hope it has done that and even more for you. Sir Winston Churchill is one of my favorite leaders to study and read about. A friend of mine gave me a book years ago that was a biography of Churchill written by his personal physician. The amount of perseverance that Churchill had to tolerate pain, illness, and manage his health was amazing to me. Physical changes, political challenges, and of course military challenge in World War II, all overcome by Churchill, made him perhaps one of the greatest leaders of the last century. Without his grit and stubborn perseverance, liberty and freedom were saved as the Nazi forces of evil were defeated. Churchill spoke once to the Harrow School on October 29, 1941. He had a short speech, but at the heart of the speech were these words, never give in, never give in, never, 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 in nothing, great or small, large or petty, never give in, except to convictions of honor and good sense, never yield to force, you never yield to the apparently overwhelmingly might of the enemy. Jeremiah wrote, after the king burned the scroll containing the words that Baruch had written at Jeremiah's dictation, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah. Take another scroll and write on it all the words that were on the first scroll, which Jehoiakim, king of Judah, burned up. His life's work was destroyed by the king. Not a loss of a digital file, but rather all burned up. Not a, I forgot to say, but rather, ah, gone. Jeremiah and Baruch were called to redo, rewrite, and plainly put forward God's word of hope to exiles and admonition to evil people. This was a very real call to persevere. Certainly we are not in the midst of a worldwide military conflict or an enormous conflict against overwhelming forces of evil. We do, however, live during a challenging time to our faith perhaps maybe like never before in our lifetimes. We are not in exile and away from our homes and families, but from my heart to yours, I sure feel like I am an outsider to the culture and the idolatrous values thereof. Never give up, never give up. Our calling is to persevere as Jeremiah and Baruch persevered, as Jesus persevered. And in Jesus persevering, he set right humanity with his Father and brought us all peace. And then all the disciples persevered, the apostles persevered. I'm even reminded of what our grandparents and parents persevered through. Our calling is to persevere, as Jeremiah and Baruch persevered, as Jesus persevered. And in Jesus persevering, he set right humanity with the Father and brought us all peace. And then the disciples persevered, the apostles persevered, the early church persevered. I'm even reminded of what our grandparents and parents persevered in and through. And we will persevere as well. Every great struggle leads to a great victory. Churchill's resolve at England's darkest hour led to the resolve of an entire nation, led to the downfall of true fascism and true evil and created a resolve among the Allies that led to winning perhaps the most devastating war in the history of humanity. He never gave up and encouraged others to never give up as well. We are in a great spiritual battle. It started when we were baptized into Christ and it goes on to this day. The evil one wants you to be destroyed and sets out his plan for your destruction. God wants you to be saved and He works His plan in your life as well. My hope is that we will all persevere in the faith. I always think about that in terms of those closest to me first, my wife and children, my grandson, the family I grew up with, my nephews, my friends, and those who I know and love and are closest to. I want them all to be with us and us all with Jesus in heaven forever. I want them along with all of you and all of us.
to persevere in the faith. Here's some practical ways to persevere. First, put God's rhythm of weekly worship first. Set that as a priority. Not online necessarily, but being in community, receiving and hearing God's Word and being there and being renewed by the Word and the sacrament. Second, regularly and intentionally be in Christian community. A sporting event is always fun, but the people with whom we will spend eternity are not necessarily there on the sidelines as they are in worship and in the community we share with other Christians. Third, be an encourager. Encourage those closest to you in the faith. Pray before meals. Pray when you put children and grandchildren to bed. Be a constant encourager and lead them to see Jesus in your encouragement. You may be the reason and the inspiration for their perseverance and never, ever give up. Churchill closed this now famous speech with these words. Do not let us speak of darker days. Let us speak rather of sterner days. These are not dark days, these are great days. The greatest days our country has ever lived. And we must all thank God that we have been allowed, each of us according to our stations, to play a part in making these days memorable in the history of our people. The same goes true for living out our faith in Jesus Christ. These are great days to be alive, challenging, but great. And God is calling us to persevere and delivers us the faith enough to finish and to finish well.